Yes. Okay, good. Um, I want to just start by talking about a couple of things that we talked about at the morning meeting, and this will be available to everybody shortly. Um, the f one of the things we looked at this morning, and it's a stock that we had, I had hadn't traded in months, if not years, and the stock was Cree, C-R-E-E. -E. And someone pointed out to me last night, actually one of my students pointed out to me last night that it was approaching what he thought was a very big level. So I said, okay, let's take a look at it. And again, I haven't traded this stock in a long time. We went to a monthly chart, a monthly chart in Cree, and we had a support level of around $39.12. Now, the stock's been in a major downtrend. The last couple of earnings that came out were horrendous. So what we said this morning at 8.30 was, if this stock breaks this 39.12 level, it's setting up to be a very nice short. Okay, The stock broke it very early this morning, very early, and it gave us a 39.12, 80 cent trade. 80 cent down trade in the stock. All right, that was what came out of our morning meeting this morning. One of the things that we were really concentrating on. So by doing our homework, by preparing ourselves for the day, we set ourselves up to look at some of these stocks and give us a, a point of reference to get in them. All right, I'm looking. We looked at Sohu and Sina this morning, and these things are absolutely insane. I'm just looking at Sina right now. Again, guys, we don't want anyone trading Sina that. Um, doesn't have a lot of experience, and even if you do, it's a very risky stock. We don't want anyone trading anything that we're telling you here. We're here for informational purposes only. FCX was another stock that we looked at this morning, and I had, um, I just want to show you guys this. On a daily chart, we had a number right around this 48.60 level. It got very close to us and then given us a 50-cent bounce in that, something else that we looked at a little long term. One of the other things we we're able to pick up on. Market guys is still, you know, for it's bounced off its lows um, for the last. Let's look at the last few days. You know, the market's been in basically mini correction mode for the last five, six, seven days. So we've had a little. Yesterday, the market was up. It opened up 90 points. We could not hold that level. We ended up closing down. So in my mind, and again, I'm just trading, guys. I'm not, I don't know what the market's going to be two days from now, let alone two weeks from now, okay? But my overall thought is to be on the short side of this market until it, until it tells us that we shouldn't be. That's my overall thought. Yes, good David. Morning. How are you? Um, good, morning, good morning, David. How are you? Good, good. Uh, good morning, guys. Um, uh, Dave, a lot of people, they are here new. I, as I see new names every every day joining your chat room and, and uh Probably they don't know who you are, what you do here, and what is the purpose of this chat room. So if, if it is possible, please uh, explain, uh, because a lot of these people, they are new. Absolutely. Guys, my name is David Green. I am the Director of Education here at Equity Trading Capital. Uh, quick little background, I've been trading for 27 years. I worked on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange for 17 years. I retired at the end of 1999 when I was 39 years of age. Um, just so to give you a little more background, guys, when I left the Florida and New York Stock Exchange, I wanted to be a day trader. Um, it's what I've done my whole life. So I wanted to be a day trader. And the first year of my attempt of day trading was disastrous, absolutely disastrous. Um, I lost money almost every day. Why? Because day trading is a completely different thing than anything I've been taught my whole life. Even with all my trading experience. I struggled almost on a daily basis, and it took me the better part of a year and a half or two years to learn how to day trade. And this is someone who's traded for 25 years their whole life. I want to emphasize how difficult a thing this is to do. Um, now, what I do here and what I've done for the last nine years is trade, teach, and successfully mentor day trading students. That's what I do right now. It is my love. It is my passion. I don't do it for the money. I do it because I love to do it. I love to be able to take people and teach them how to take money out of the stock market. That's what I love to do. Um, we have, I don't know, we've had hundreds of students go through our, our training program. We have 15 or 20 that are in the office with us. One of the things that I stress and that we offer is continued mentorship. That means we're not looking to just take people's money to teach them how to day trade. We will be with you 
for as long as you have an account to help you. So that, that's the big difference between us and most other places. So that's a little background. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything, especially you new guys, first time here? Anything you want to talk want about? To mention, guys, I just want to mention for the new guys that if you're coming here to, to, uh, to get tips, which is stock to trade, and, and David Green uh, walk you, okay, buy here, sell here, you are in the wrong, wrong uh, place. At no time we, we tell anybody buy here and we sell here. We just talk about the uh, mistakes that the traders they make so in order for you to, to, to be a, a good trader. And you are responsible for all your trades. You should know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, do not follow anybody else. And please refrain after coming to this chat room. Dave, I just want you, uh, you know, we have a trader here that uh, you know, trade with us. And, and uh, uh, he got or she got locked out because she traded AGQ. Can you please explain a little bit about AGQ? Yes. And absolutely. why do you think the trader is locked out? And, you know. Let's take a look at AGQ, guys. <coughs> I don't recommend and actually will not allow any of my students normally not to trade any NASDAQ stocks at all. Why? Because we can't put stop orders in NASDAQ stocks. We can't physically put hard stop orders in NASDAQ stocks. And I don't want to be in any trade where I don't know what my downside risk is. That's number one. Number two, we don't want to be trading in stocks that are over even $75. They're just too volatile, especially when you first start learning. The object when you first start learning how to do this is to last long enough so that you can figure out how to do it properly. That's the big key to this business, is lasting in this business. And if you walk in and start trading AGQs and signers and SOHUs, I can almost guarantee you you're not going to be around too long. The stock is just too volatile. The stock already today has had a $5 range from bottom to top to bottom to top. You're going to get run over in this stock. Most of the time, you're going to get run over in this stock. So we just don't recommend it. And I don't want anyone to be, first of all, we don't, again, I don't, we suggest strongly, and all my students follow this rule, nobody's making any trades before at least 9.45 and most times 10 o'clock. I don't want anyone trading that early in the morning because stocks haven't even established any trends yet. That's when they're going to be the most volatile is during those times. So, you know, I very rarely are any one of my students, if ever, going to be shut out before 9.45, 10 o'clock. It's just not going to happen because they're not trading. Beautiful. You have to give chances, stocks a chance to set up. It's that simple. That simple. Let me show you another stock that we were looking at and we talked about this morning, and that was Sienna. Earnings came out last night. Let's look at a five-minute chart. It gapped down almost four and a half dollars. Now, for me to look for support in this stock, I had to go to a, I think it was monthly chart. Let me just see, maybe weekly. Weekly chart, guys. Okay. Again, this is an advanced trading technique, something that we teach, something that you will be able to take advantage of, especially during earnings season. This has changed a little, but my number in Siena this morning was $20.55. And pre-market this morning, the stock traded at, let me just get this here, $20.50, exactly to the number. And from there, now this is pre-market, and it was something I was involved with pre-market. Again, advanced trading technique. From there, from when the stock opened, it went up $1.50 from there. So by using my charts, by using my different levels, I was able to go into a stock that has horrible earnings and find the support level. Very, very important. Most of our trades, guys, are going to be made based on support and resistance. Most of our trades are going to be made by that. Technical analysis, most of our trades are going to be made on. All right? I'm trying to think stocks right now, and everything's kind of mixed in my mind. There's really no direction in anything yet, but that doesn't mean that our scanners, which are some of the things that we work on to help you guys trade, um, doesn't mean those aren't going to pick up stocks that are going to show us which direction they're going in and, and help us to make trading decisions. It's just that everything's kind of mixed right now. We have this chat room uh, uh, from uh, 10 to 10.30, and then the second part of the day we'll come back at 1.30 and we're going to do some trades together. Well, I'm going to do some trades. Uh, I'm going to show everybody where I get in, where I get out, how, why I get in, why I get out, and you know, basically that's it. It's educational. We want you to, to ask your question. Uh, so David Green is here to, to answer the question as much as he can. Just if uh, you want, just type there your question. Yeah. 
And if anybody has a microphone and he wants to ask questions, we just unmute your microphone and so we can ask your question. Absolutely, guys. Any questions about it? Someone just asked me about MCP. And I'm looking at the stock, and it is broke down below any kind of support that we have. So, guys, what am I thinking about doing in this stock? I think the only way, the only way I would even be looking to do anything in the stock is maybe a reversal. So, it's a stock that I'm keeping an eye on. Dave, uh, if you want, we can uh, again this afternoon go to to uh, trailing stuff. We're gonna do some. A trade, and we're going to explain what the trailing stuff and why you use it. So that's what we're going to do at 1:30. If you is okay with you. Any um, one of my students in any trades or make any trades this morning? I'd like to talk about them if you have. I uh, take a look at the futures, trying to go make it you know high of the day. Let's look at the spiders. Even if you don't trade a spider, I know a lot of you guys, so you are, you're going to probably ask, why should I you know, look at a spider? Because spider is the whole market. By don't know what the spider is doing, and by not watching the spider, you are just trading blindly. Regardless of what we're trading, guys, I always, always, always are, are watching the SPYs. That's going to give me the general direction of the market. I don't care how good a setup I'm looking at, okay? Unless the market's going to help me get into that trade, it might prevent me from making a trade in the stock. We want to be in trades that give us the best chance of working. The best chance of working. All right, Kevin said he just got into MCP at 54.57. For what reason? MCP. You got fifty-seven. Why? At the low of the day. The stock is done. The stock is done 3 380. MCP is very volatile stock. The market makes new high. So why did you go long? I mean, you're making money right now. Why, why did you bottom it? Okay. He said that it moved up for the low, and it's around the time that we might be looking for a reversal, which is one of the trades that we teach him, Davey. So I don't, I don't have a problem with this. Okay. But here's the game. You know, you just made 30, 40 cents on it. Right? I know, I know. It's a great Back trade. Up is up, you know. What can I tell you? It's a great trade. The only time, and again, guys, there are a million different trading techniques. Did you get out? Let me ask you a question. Did you get out already? Did you get out, Kevin? Yes. Did yes, he sold. Out from the low. Yes, but did you get out? Yes. Say yes. Okay. Well, nobody can hear you. Must type in yes. <laughs> Very nice. So now you don't care that the stock goes to the zero because you're out, and nobody can take that money from you until you have that that, that money in your pocket. Exactly right. One of the techniques that we teach, and it's different from other techniques, is to look for reversal trades. So, I'm not going to get into what that is right now, but it's one of the techniques that we teach. And guys, every single trade that you do, it should be you, sh you should have a reason. Now, you made money on uh, MCP. You should not go because he made money on MCP and just uh, you know entered uh, to the price because he made a hundred bucks for MCP and he wants to go and make. And a hundred hundred dollars. He went because there was a reason, and that reason is probably gone, and he is out of this. Hopefully, guys. When we have beyond our morning meetings, everyone in this office who's part of our group comes into the conference room at twelve fifteen. And what do we do at twelve fifteen? Well, we go over all our trades that we've made so far for the day. And you can ask any one of my students. The first thing I will say to them is, you better have a good reason for every trade that you've gotten in. Every single one. I want to know why. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know what? I don't even care if they make money or lose money on it. I want to know why they're in the trade because at least this tells me that they're learning what, what, what we're teaching them. And that's the most important thing. That's what's going to make you last in this business. You must have a reason for every single trade you get in and a game plan once you get in every single trade. A game plan once you get in every single trade. Those are the most important things. Hey, Kev, do you have a microphone? Kevin? No. No, he doesn't have one. Okay. Let's see who has a microphone. Um, maybe Nicholas? Hey, Nicholas. Can you hear us? 
can hear you. Let's see who. Um, let's go to payment. Payment. Can you hear us? Can you hear him. Guys, if we unmute you, if you want to ask your question. Johnson. Johnson? Any question? Johnson? I mean, that's a question, loud and clear. Okay, do you have any question? I mean, so unmute you. Do you have any question? Nope. Okay. How long are you trading for? I mean, I mean, he's in our current class, Davey. Oh, okay, okay. He's in the office with us. He's in our current class. Beautiful. I mean, and he's doing great, by the way. Really picking things up nicely. You guys, at 1.30, we're going to come back, and we're going to start some trade. We talk about trading and stuff, and hopefully, we're going to talk about hot keys if we get a chance. Excellent. Excellent. Guys, later in the afternoon is when stocks, well, maybe even you know, half hour from now, for, stocks are going to establish their trends. So the first half hour, 45 minutes, hour, it's very difficult to trade stocks because they haven't established any kind of trend. Ray J, no trades yet? Monsanto. Okay, what are you doing? You shorted it? At what price? Okay. To what price did you get at? 68.13? Okay, that's fine. But look at the 60-minute chart, okay? And the number is 68.30. Are you on e-signal yet? Okay. You got the same number, okay? Great. Here's a here is a, a losing trade that I want to show you guys that one of my students just made, okay? Based on a five-minute chart. Stock was 67.10. He made a sale at 67.93 after the stock went up almost a dollar, okay? And he gave himself a 15 cent stop loss. So as soon as it went up 15 cents, he got out of the trade. All right, he had a good reason for getting in the trade. Did it work out? No, he lost 15 bucks. But that's perfect, absolutely that's perfect. Trade, that's guys. a very good you trade. trade. You lose money because you had a reason to go in, and you cut your losses. Even if you lose money, that's a good trade. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And what I'd be looking at, you know. What I told Ray J now is look at the stock, look at the 68.30 level. Notion, the manual for Blackwood is uh, uh, inside the, uh, uh, just just call our, our shop and uh, uh, we're going to let you know how to get in. When you log in to, to, to Blackwood uh, sheet, you will see the manual there. But if you have any questions, the best thing is you ask us here and we'll, we'll answer you. If you have any question about the software, the best thing, we are, we are, we are talking manual. Ask us what you want me to do, and I'll explain to you here. Does anyone have any questions about anything we're looking at? Let's, I'm just looking at this sign again. Low, L O W. Low? Yeah. Low. Low, low. How low can you go? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's going lower. Well, low, low is going lower. Well, it doesn't mean that you get short here, guys. Low is, you know, in downtrend. Stock gap down. Market is going down. Stock went to 70 cents. There is a, you know, there is a resistance right there. Stock is at 66. And the low of the day is 59. Nobody knows if it can go lower. Nobody knows if it go higher. But the stock is in downtrend. It doesn't mean that you go short. It doesn't mean that you go long. Exactly right. It's not at a point right now where we want to make any trade. One of my students just asked me to look at Oh My God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Oh my God. That's funny. Okay, the stock 3540 went up to 3780. I'm assuming this stock had earnings or something. Let's look at a 60 minute chart. It has something. Okay. Yeah. On a 60 minute chart, they pointed out to me that it might have made a double top. Okay. And on a daily chart, 
same thing, maybe a double top. So here's a trade that one of my students got in based on a 60-minute chart and a daily chart, and they made a short sale when the stock was up here. There's no moving average. There's no resistance anywhere. So they went and found a good reason to get in this trade, and they just made 35, 40 cents on the trade. That's a great trade based on research, based on looking further. It's an excellent, excellent trade. That makes me feel like they learning what they're doing. Guys, if you see yourself that the, 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 the distance between each trade that you do, or, or, or you know, every two minutes, or every one minute, or every 30 seconds, you are in a trade, then you should know you're doing something wrong. Every trade, you should have an entry point that you will define long time before, let the stock come to your limit price, and you get it. If you go market in and out, market in and out, because you want to make a trade and you want just to make money out of the thin air, then you are doing something wrong and you're not going to last in this case. That's exactly right, guys. And the bottom line is we spend more part of our day doing nothing, not trading, Looking at than the we chart. do in trades. We study, we look at our charts. That's what we're going to spend most of our day doing. And there are going to be times when I put in limit orders and I might miss getting into a trade by four or five cents. Well, that happens too. That happens too. But I can tell you this, every day there will be things to trade. Don't worry about missing things. That's the worst thing you can do is just make a trade to trade. The worst thing you can do is trade just for the sake of trading. Right, for a new trader, if you're trading more than, I don't know, seven, 8,000 share a day, for a new trader, that's a lot. I, I trade a lot. I trade a couple hundred thousand share per day. I have guys that they trade a million share per day. But for a new trader, if you do more than 8,000 share for the beginning, is a lot. If you do less than two, three thousand share, you're wasting your time and you're not placing enough trade. If you are at, you know, if you are keep uh, looking at YouTube and and Yahoo message board and 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 have your Facebook and pro, you know update your profile, you are absolutely wasting your time. You know, just just don't do this. You are here to look at the charts, look at the pattern. Even if just take a look at the trade, even if you're not, you don't want to trade it. Just write down, okay, I did a paper trade. I bought X, Y, Z at, at this price because of this and, and you know, see the result. You, you will learn even from your paper trade. That's a very good point, David, and, and, and one that you guys have to understand that this, if this is something that you want to do for a career, all right? This is a job. There's work involved. You are going to reap what you sow, Okay. The more work you put in, and I'm not talking about overwork, guys. I'm not talking about spending five hours a day studying charts. No, that's overkill. That's not going to make you a better trader. But there is some work involved. All right? You cannot walk in here at 9.25 in the morning, turn on your machine, and expect to make money. It just doesn't work that way. It's a job, and there's work involved. And the more astute you are and the more studying you do, the better you're going to be at this job. That, along with being taught how to do it properly from the beginning, which is probably the most important thing. The most important thing. For those of you who are beginning traders, okay, or people who haven't picked where they want to be yet and they're just in the chat room to pick up some information, I can tell you this. The most important thing is where you learn how to do this, and you must, 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 100%. Be taught how to do this by someone who knows what they're doing, guys. That, that's the most important thing. It really is. This is not something you're going to be able to do on your own. Even if you've traded before with Scott Trade or Ameritrade, day trading is just a completely different animal. Completely different animal. So I urge you to go get some kind of education somewhere. I guarantee you, you will save money in the long run. Guaranteed. Um, for my students who are listening, uh, at uh, 11 o'clock, we will be going um, into the classroom for our morning class. Everyone else, at 12.15, we will be inside going over our morning trades. Okay, that is mandatory, 12.15. Everyone will be in the conference room. Dave, I heard that you're going to have uh, online classes very soon for people that you are remotely, right? Can you explain yes. about that? Yes, yes, yes. Um, what we're going to be starting very shortly is we have two parts to our class. We have a beginning introduction to day trading, and then we have advanced trading techniques. Both of these we're going to be doing by webinar online very shortly. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country. Okay, You will be able to just sign on for one of our classes, be in a webinar, 
and it'll be just like being here live. Also, anyone who does sign up for one of our webinars gets access to this chat room for as long as they want. Okay? Um, if anyone wants more details about what we cover and what we talk about, please, please, please call the office, ask for me, and um, I can give you much greater detail about what we're going to cover, what the classes are about, and the cost of the classes. Okay? I can tell you this, guys. Everything we do here, it, it's just, it'll be more than worth whatever it is that you're going to spend on a webinar. I can guarantee you that. So, yes, that will be available very shortly to anybody who's interested. Besides that, guys, if anyone just has any questions about anything or needs some help, I don't need any commitment from you guys to do anything with us. If You can call me at this office, and I will answer any question that you have. If it's something you don't want to ask while you're in the webinar, I, I, I am more than willing to help you, more than willing. So if you have any questions about anything, call the office, ask for me, and I will take time out of my day to uh, answer your question. Okay? Just, we are, just want you guys to know, we might be one of the few places who sincerely care about all of our students, all of our pers prospective customers. We want everyone to do well. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying to me than teaching someone to take money out of the stock market. Absolutely nothing. I think everyone here feels that way. I think the market's coming off a little bit now. Maybe no, because of this. The oil number, maybe? Something just happened. I don't know. 1030 is the oil number, yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, Dave, take a look at WRC. WRC. Wow. You see? I mean, very low volume stock, but uh, on 300, 4,000. 100,000 share just uh, uh, traded on uh, the last five minutes bar. I Hold on. Let me get that. Look at that, guys. Big, giant volume bar. What does it mean? We'll see what does it means very soon. Oh, what? Yeah, something just came out in Letter X that I heard over our news service. All right. What was that? Something just came out in Letter X over our news service, and it said there's takeover chatter. Now, I hear this a lot during the day. Okay. X, letter X, U.S. Oh, Steel. Guys, be very careful on this takeover chatter thing. That's what I wanted to mention, guys. 90% of the time, it doesn't mean anything. Okay? Anytime you hear something is going up or down based on takeover chatter, just don't don't even bother. Make believe you didn't even hear it. Don't trade the stock. It, it doesn't really mean anything. Different news things mean mean different things, and we're going to trade them differently. And that's just something that we'll we'll teach you in our courses. You'll you'll learn which ones are important, which ones aren't important. Okay, I'm so I'm looking at this OMG, and my student had a very good short sale on this. I want to know where are you looking to cover this stock, the OMG? Core price? Oh my God! Thirty-seven ten. All right, I don't know if it's going to pull back that much. I would probably be a little higher than that, but I see where you're looking. You're looking to buy it when it comes back to the uh, fifteen hundred moving minute moving average. Now, where is your where is your okay? Here's this is great because um, my student got in this stock. They're short at thirty-seven seventy-seven. Okay, so right now they have a forty-two cent profit in it. So let me ask you this: Where is your trailing stop order? There you go. Okay, I just asked where the trailing stop order was, and they said thirty-seven fifty. Okay, so what does that mean? If the stock goes back to thirty-seven fifty, they're going to lock in a twenty-seven cent profit, and as the stock goes lower. They're going to keep lowering their trailing stop. Okay, if it gets to 37.30, then their stop will be 37.45. So we're going to lock in a profit in a trade, no matter what happens. That's, hey, how, we, that that's how we trade, guys. That's um, hey. Oksana. Oksana, Oksana. Just, just, Oksana. You, know, you made money. You made money. I just don't want to, you know, say anything. But take a look at the volume. It's very low volume. Just be very careful. Now we usually trade any stock that they have more than 500,000 shares. It's 171 top. I see. So be very careful because it can move a lot. 
But as long as you have your stop and you know when you're going to be out, perfect. 